Alright guys, welcome back to vlog number two. I hope you enjoyed the first vlog. Um, we've basically got the whole of the inside ready for the next stage, so now we're gonna focus on the electrics, just so we can hide all the cables and nothing is on show. We've got the split charge relay on its way, we've got the solar panel already here, and we've got the cables ready for the light switches to turn on the spotlights, which can be on the roof. So, that is gonna be the, the, the process of this vlog and it's gonna be all focused on the electrics and how we do everything and making sure everything is safe and hidden basically. So let's get on with fitting the solar panel. Yo. So I've bought a stick on solar panel just so it's not fully raised up. The idea of it realistically is so that it's hidden. Um, I'm not too bothered about it being on show as such, but it's going to be better if it is hidden just because it's only a small van so you can see the roof. So we've got a stick on solar panel which uh, we're going to snip the cables because we've got a little junction box which we want to hide the cables. Uh, we're going to cut a hole in the roof and then from there we're going to slide the cables inside the junction box which is going to be over the hole in the roof and then hide the cables down the pillars um, which will then eventually go towards the battery obviously the the purpose of the solar panel is to trickle charge the battery as we go along so i'm not fully relying on this to uh, charge my battery but that's why i've got a split charge to go from the main car battery to my second battery so we're just gonna eye it up measure it up drill the hole or drill the hole um, and then snip the cables and figure out how, how much we need so let's do it Doesn't feel natural drilling into a fucking. All right, so we fit the solar panel um, and we've actually stuck it down. We've got the cables running through a junction box which is, goes through into the car, which you've seen is cut out. That junction box is, box is already stuck down as well, so we're gonna leave that for now, let that glue really stick, and then next we're gonna uh, get the cables, connect the cables, get them through the uh, control unit, and then from that control unit, gonna go to the battery. So that's gonna be the next thing you're gonna do, but it's gonna be in a few days for us. It's obviously gonna be next for you. So that's gonna be the next stage. The heavens have literally opened up, so we have decided to take shelter in the van. And yeah, literally. <laughs> So now we're just gonna pull some of the cable for the spotlights, um, just put them in place and then everything's like somewhat neat and tidy to the point where I can then, yeah, carpet in and clad. So we're gonna pull this cable now. Beauty job. We're gonna start with Pulling the cable from the main car battery through into the car and then start connecting it up to my second leisure battery, which is going to be the main battery to power and charge everything that's going to be in the back of the van in terms of my camera and the drone and everything like that. So first thing we're going to do is open the bonnet, which Matt's already doing behind me, 
uh, and work out where we're going to pull the cable. We've looked at a few forums and there is a few spots in which you can pull them through so that's going to be the first things we're going to do. I'll show you everything we've got here and then obviously I'll take you through with me. Let's go. So we found the bung which all the inside cables run along. So we've just poked the screwdriver through and we can easily see it which is perfect for us which means we can literally just poke the cable through there which again is going from our car battery to our second battery via a split relay so that's a win taking the uh, main battery out and from there we can easily just feed that cable through into where I've just pointed through in the vehicle so that's good and it should just should <laughs> touch wood just easily push through so we'll see how that gets on so the weather isn't really on our side today. It's dry, it should be dry, but it's windy as, so if the audio is a little bit bad, I do apologize. Um, I know I messed up on the first video with the audio, so hopefully this video is sweet and I can get a little bit more professional since I am a filmmaker. But yeah, so apologies. So we've managed to get the cable through, run through the conduit, and that's it, they're connecting to the fuse. From the fuse, we then have the cable come round into where the battery sat. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I've just neaten it up, connect it all to the fuse, and then we'll sort everything out on the inside of the car. So we managed to get the cable all through here, neatly behind all of the uh, plastic trims and this is where the big second battery is going to be under the driver's seat so what we're going to do now is just secure that down by putting two bits of batten down here and we're going to then use a ratchet strap on this little indentation there to keep the battery nice and tight so all the cables are pulled through for now and we'll just connect them up a little bit later Alright guys, just updating us to where we're at. Um, you might notice in the back of me that the bed and all the cladding and all that's done. Um, that's just purely because I've had to wait to get to a stage to carry on with the electrics. So we've just finished off the uh, split charge and the solar panel. All the cables are nice and neat behind the driver's seat. Um, we've earthed it all off, which is obviously one of the main uh, safety priorities as well. Now what we're gonna do if you remember, um, which well you would have just seen actually, the we ran a cable from the battery to the light unit. Now I couldn't do anything with that light unit because I needed to build the structure. So that's what we've already done. That's going to be coming out in vlog 3, just needed to get to this stage with the electrics. So now I'm just going to finish off fitting off these electrics for my six spotlights which are up there on the roof. And then we are going to fit the inverter, so that's where we're at. Apologies for... Uh, I'm not showing you too much of the van, but you're going to see that in vlog for you. Right? So what I've got here is a five switch board. Um, I don't have a switch going from the battery to the switchboard um, and I don't want a constant live feed so I'm using the first switch as a switch meaning that that is going to be the power from the battery to this whole unit. I've only got six spotlights which I'm putting into pairs of three so I'll put three on each switches and then I'm going to have two spares if I ever put a fridge or water pump or anything like that in here. So, um, yeah, I've got the three. This is the back of it. Obviously all of them are fused off so if anything goes wrong the fuses will blow rather than the whole system. Um, so yeah, what I've done is I've put the live feed into switch one, and then I've got the two switches, which are gonna be three of each positives from the spotlights, and then obviously the negatives with the main power feed is gonna run off that negative back to the battery. So as I was saying, that's gonna be first switch, which has got power from the battery, and it's telling me how much, which is good as well. So that's gonna be our switch, if I want it on or off. 
First set of lights. Three. Second set of lights. Six. Winner! Okay, so now on the final stage is the electrics. And that's the inverter. Now the reason why I'm getting uh, putting an inverter in the van is just because, like I've said before, my camera gear. Um, so yeah, use my camera gear to, or well, need to charge my camera gear when I'm overnight staying, out for work, etc. They want us to get a high um, rating, I think that's what you'd call it. Um, meaning that I can take big loads um, with it with my camera gear, probably a kettle, anything that I do need like that. Um, I'll show or say a little bit more about it as I'm going with it, uh, but I'm just trying to find the right spot as to where to fit it, where's the best spot. So that's what I'm looking for right now. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this vlog, thank you so much. For watching i know this one's taken a long time to come out and that's just purely because i've needed to get to a stage in the van to finish off the electrics which is obviously what we've done today so yeah th again thank you so much for watching please subscribe like comment all of that fun stuff um and be sure to look out for the next one where i'll start building this <laughs> cheers guys i'll see you soon